he took on something that to me is a very challenging topic to take on, but he went headfirst into it because he's been there and he's walked the path. And that's the inner critic's role in addiction, right? And he was so transparent in what he's navigated and how the inner critic played a role in his addiction and in his recovery, right? How he moved through that in tools that worked specifically for him in that journey, which I knew not from an inner critic standpoint, but from a self-awareness standpoint, which I think is a key differentiator too, is I couldn't talk about this in a way that may connect to someone who's going on that journey or finds themselves there right now because I haven't gone through an addiction and recovery. But that's why we so focus on the difference between guide and teacher in our organization. Both are so important, but teachers don't always, like I could teach on the subject, everything I've learned about addiction and recovery, I could teach that. But that's not the same as someone who's walked the path, someone who knows the experiences, the highs, the lows, the in-betweens, and has acquired the tools that helped them along the way. Because now they're speaking from that place of experience, that place of knowing, and that creates that love connection, that relationship aspect of, I know what you're going through, at least to some level, because I've been there. And I thought he did such a wonderful job yeah. of doing that. He made it very approachable, which is really nice. And I think he also set it up in a, in a beautiful way where like you and I both have not had, uh, have not had an addiction. So we, yeah, we can't speak to that. And that was really important for us and grateful that Robert was willing to step up and share in that way. Um, but also I think for, for those who haven't been in the same boat as us and haven't had an addiction, but may know someone, whether it's a family member or a close friend, we all, we all are touched by it in some way. And so to be able to see a different perspective, um, because not everyone who's gone through an addiction is, has the best ability to express it or understand it, um, or share where they're at. Uh, it's really tough. I mean, it's tough to do that on any subject, let alone, uh, something that they might not even understand. Yes. And so I, th I think him being able to uh, position it in a way for people like myself, who's able to see it from a different lens and have a greater sense of compassion and empathy, not that I was seeking that I lacked it, but we don't know until we know. And when I got to understand it at the depth of level, then I'm able to rise up to that level of empathy. And so it expanded my awareness. And so I was able to raise my, my level of compassion, empathy in that area and see it from, from a greater capacity. And so I think that was super helpful. And so, uh, you know, cause I, I, that was one of my questions as we were going through this, like, well, is, I mean, I see addiction as a really big thing, but it's not, is it something that everyone goes through? And, and the answer is no, but it's imperative and important that this is a part of it. And I, and I'm so glad it is because everyone knows someone mm -hmm. it is prolific enough in, in our society in that sense where everyone at least knows someone. And so to be able to have a part of this that can, that you can watch it, you know, to help you, like maybe you do have an addiction and you're not even aware of it. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to, to explore this, this class and this module, uh, and expand on that. Or if you don't then say, Hey, this is going to help me better understand, you know, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, my cousin, you know, my family member, my person at work, you know, any of that at a, at a better, at a greater level. And to be like, wow, I can be a better friend or I can be, you know, I can help them out or, Hey, I can even share this with them to support them. Even if there's, I don't know if there's anything else I can do. You know, that's, that's a great space. I'm super grateful that, that Robert expressed it in that capacity. Yeah. I agree. And his vulnerability was paramount, which again, I haven't, I have been with someone who had an addiction or has, it's not something necessarily you have to keep it front of mind. And I do know that once you recognize that you have one, 
And so vulnerability from the person who's navigating it is so, so important. And the willingness to say where you are when you're there and not let the inner critic shut you down and shut your voice down because others are going to think poorly of you for having an addiction. That's a very vicious spiral. And seeing Robert just say, look, this is where I'm at even now. And this is where I was. But as you said at the beginning of this, it did not define me. It does not say who I am. It just shows me what I've navigated and what choices I have to make in order to choose something differently every time. And that was such a beautiful thing to be in witness of. Because whether you have an addiction or not, it is very easy to cut down vulnerability. Like that's one of the first things that inner critic goes in there and just like loves to cut away and put into a box is your willingness to be vulnerable and transparent with people because you don't desire to appear weak, right? Where what Robert demonstrated is vulnerability is a superpower. And the moment you begin to embrace that superpower, then you do begin to see things differently. 